The interstellar probe could be the successor to the Voyager missions. Wait, are those interstellar probes? Is NASA planning to conduct another such missions besides the Voyager mission? We all are always keen on space exploration as it is something that always increases our curiosity. Something is always brewing at the NASA space station. This time, we have some insane details about the interstellar probe mission and how it could be a successor to Voyager missions. But before we dive right into the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button for more updates. Let us know about Voyager missions. Voyager missions is a mission currently ongoing by American scientists that has sent two robotic interstellar probes into space, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Both were launched in 1977, and Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to reach interstellar space, followed by Voyager 2 being the second. Quite amazing to know. As for a fact, both interstellar probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were designed to operate for only five years. But despite it, both of them are still active and if they continue their functioning consistently, they are likely to stop working by 2031. Well, no universal facts about their functioning can be concluded right now. Both the probes are consistently helping scientists as they are gaining more knowledge about the space between the stars. And for a fact, we might require some more definite missions, similar to the Voyager mission, to continue this exploring operation. These interstellar probes provide details about has, dust and rays that make the interstellar medium. The interstellar medium is a matter made of mixtures of gases, dust and cosmic rays. The majority of space stations have confined their exploration to planets and other celestial bodies. NASA's Voyager missions is a program of exploring space beyond the planets, the Sun and other parts of the outer limits of the Sun's sphere. Most importantly, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the two interstellar probes, are sent to possibly collect data between the alignment of Jupiter and Saturn. Interstellar probes serve as a huge benefit to NASA and have a huge impact on Voyager missions. Also, none of these missions are immortal, and which is why we need similar spacecrafts and a homogeneous but more effective mission to continue this amazing space exploration. And for a fact, until now, no spacecraft or interstellar probe has gone any farther in space than NASA's Voyager 1, which is approximately 18.8 .8 billion kilometers. The interstellar probes provide details about the observation of the undefined territory. Also, these probes help scientists understand the nature and types of radiation energy present in space. All these could possibly serve the best details needed for any possible missions. For a fact, the interstellar probes serve the best purpose for the Voyager missions. The interstellar probe, Voyager 1, was the first human-made spacecraft to enter into interstellar space. It is the first spacecraft or interstellar probe to cross the boundary outside our solar system. The main aim of the Voyager mission is to extend the exploration beyond the Sun's sphere and Voyager 1. This interstellar probe is serving the best result. It can be concluded that interstellar probes are the best possible spacecraft for a Voyager mission. Voyager 1 is known to discover two new moons, Thebe and Metis. The interstellar probe Voyager 1 discovered five new moons, a ring system having thousands of bands, photographed Saturn's moons, Titans, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. According to the data provided by this interstellar probe, Titan could be the first body in space to have water in the liquid state. Ever since these interstellar probes were launched, they have provided us with the best possible details about space to quench our thirst for knowledge and to increase more possible inventions and exploration, we need more interstellar probes and missions. Between the two interstellar probes, both of them have concluded that the plasma between the local interstellar space is much denser than that of the inside of the heliosphere. Voyager 2 denoted that the temperature of the nearby interstellar plasma is colder than that of heliospheric plasma. In 2012, Voyager 1 provided data that the plasma is compressing as it detected a dense plasma just outside the heliosphere. While exiting the heliosphere, the probes detected an increase in plasma density, stating a compression. Still, scientists do not have any details of why the compression is occurring on both sides. Until now, there are several unanswered questions about the nature of the heliosphere, compression, and many more. As these interstellar probes were launched more than 40 years ago, they could not possibly answer these questions as their operational power is coming to an end. They will still be able to operate till 2025, after which their batteries will be permanently discharged and this creates a chaotic question in the minds of many people. 
Will this be the end of the Voyager mission? Well, to find the answers and continue the space exploration, scientists of NASA are studying a new mission called the Interstellar Probe Mission. This mission is somewhat a heliophysics mission to know the details about the Sun's influence, to get to know some insane facts about the interstellar space, and most importantly, to find the answer to unanswered questions found by the interstellar probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The interstellar mission will possibly serve as a successor to the Voyager mission as it will help to figure out the answers to some facts and questions. One such researcher who used Voyager data stated some facts related to the mission in which she said that we should learn how to conduct long-term missions because this will let us achieve aspirations of interstellar missions. The scientific adjectives of this new mission are as follows. The interstellar mission will help in exploring the impact of the solar system on the interstellar medium. It will explore the effects of solar activity, the details of the interstellar medium, and details of the possible effects of the interstellar medium on the dynamics of the advancement of the heliosphere. Explore more about the interstellar medium and find and explore the properties of gases, the magnetic field, dust, cosmic rays, and all these details about the interstellar medium. There are many expectations from this interstellar probe mission. Do let us know about your expectations from this mission and will it surpass or not. The new interstellar probe spacecraft will be somewhat like those in the Voyager's missions, or similar to the new Horizons probe. The energy required for the operation of this equipment won't be available from solar panels, but its requirement will be fulfilled by some thermoelectric isotopic generators similar to that present in the Voyager's mission. It could be said that the interstellar probe mission is a successor of Voyager mission, as for its design it will have a large high-gain antenna for communication purposes with the scientists of NASA. According to sources, the new Pro will launch around 2036 and will have a travelling speed twice that of Voyager 1, which was about 61,500 km per hour. This is exceptionally huge, and obviously, this will turn out as an important mission. According to researchers, the new interstellar probe would travel more than 34 billion miles, or 37 AU. One astronomical unit is equal to 93 million miles in 50 years or so. Also, to accelerate its speed to enter into interstellar space, this probe will use the gravitational forces of other planets. Also, while traveling, it could possibly fly near a dwarf planet. This will provide the necessary thrust required to enter into the interstellar medium, and alongside, it will gain details about that particular dwarf planet. It is believed that throughout the exploration, the scientists will receive large amounts of data, even from a distance of 1000 AU or beyond. What else do we need? The volume of data arriving on Earth will be inversely proportional to that of the distance travelled by spacecraft. This is because much energy will be lost, and as the distance is huge, this will cause major disruption in signals. This mission will be launched in the 2030s, or near it, and will possibly be one of the probes to reach the farthest distance and to be the fastest of all. This means that this probe will possibly replace its ancestor probe, that is, Voyager 1, and will serve as the best probe ever to drift to space. Well, this mission is a cherry to the eye. In all, this is an ambitious mission and serves the best possible way to be the successor of the Voyage mission. Also, we are keen to know about the details and how this interstellar probe mission surpasses the working of probes of Voyage missions. This is all for now and thank you for taking this ride with us. Take care until next time, don't forget to like and share the video, and please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.